Zambia hosted the fourth African Union media meeting from 14th of July to 17th of July 2022 in Lusaka. This has been reviewed with mixed feelings by some stakeholders. Others have congratulated government for hosting the meeting peacefully, while others have expressed disappointment that the meeting was not attended by all the 13 expected heads of states that were supposed to attend. Among them is the opposition patriot front PF party, who has expressed sadness that the meeting was only attended by five heads of states instead of 13. Picking at a media briefing in Lusaka Monday morning, Patriot Front Acting President Given Luwinda wondered whether the quorum was made at the meeting. This meeting, we should have had 13 heads of state. Only 13. It was actually extremely poorly attended. As only five heads of state out of the expected 13 were in attendance. One wonders whether the quorum was met at this meeting. Five out of 30. For ordinary meetings, half is the number. I also wonder whether the decisions that were made at the meeting would be binding on all other heads of state who decided not to attend. However, we as a country must feel that we were snubbed by the eight heads of state who did not attend. And like I said, we can raise questions. And we in the Patriotic Front wonder whether their decisions to stay away from Zambia is not because Zambia is being viewed as a country promoting interests <clears throat> that are inimical to Pan-Africanism and against the interests of the region. And over the recent declaration of assets by cabinet ministers, the PF acting president also notes that this needs to verify with various institutions to ensure that the assets were genuinely earned, obtained, and appropriate taxes were paid on the assets. The former civil servant has a farm worth 60 million. How can a former first lady, having been first lady for seven years, you go and ask, how did you acquire 15 flats? So at Uze, where did the, all this money come from? Those declarations, by many standards, are shocking. Very shocking. And in all fairness, they need to be verified. So please, Anti-Corruption Commission, go and make verifications of these assets. Go and find out what is on these farms that are worth 60 million kwacha. What is it that is there? Because if there are no verifications of these assets, and to prove that they, are, they were genuinely earned and obtained and that appropriate taxes were paid in earning those assets, then the whole fight against corruption will be a mockery. Speaking at the same events, PF member of the Central Committee, Emmanuel Mwamba, has this to say. Teachers that have been recruited, the 30,000 teachers that have been recruited, but we appeal to government to provide all information. For example, this was not provided for, for them to be on the payroll this year. The government should be in the forefront of telling our expectant teachers that they'll be on the payroll in 2023. This lack of providing information is what raises these concerns, and we hope that they go through with the issues of uh, uh, the 11,200 um, health personnel that they'll be recruiting we Margaret Chota, Movie TV News in Lusaka.